In convective heat transfer, there are several important dimensionless numbers like Reynolds, Nusselt, Grashof, Rayleigh, and one of them is Prontel. Today, we're gonna talk about Prontel number. Stay in this short lecture. Ludwig Prontel was a physicist who introduced a dimensionless fluid property in convective heat transfer, which is the so-called Prontel number. It is defined as the ratio of momentum diffusivity to thermal diffusivity, you know. Uh, I'll explain it physically later on, but you know, Ludwig Prontel is actually the same scientist that gave the hypothesis of the boundary layer in fluid mechanics, you know. So many thanks to this guy for his great effort and achievements in fluid mechanics and heat transfer. Prandtl equals nu divided by alpha, where the nu is momentum diffusivity or kinematic viscosity in square meter per second. And the alpha is the thermal diffusivity in what so guess please the dimension so as we told Prandtl is a dimensionless number right so this one should be also in a square meter per second the same unit as a new to make this number i mean the Prandtl number a dimensionless one so if we go on in this equation then we could express the new which is momentum diffusivity or uh, let's say kinematic viscosity as dynamic viscosity per density also we can express the thermal diffusivity as thermal conductivity per density times specific heat so here these two rows cancel each other out as you can see and finally we have mu times cp divided by k here the mu is dynamic viscosity yeah be careful kinematic viscosity and dynamic viscosity are different actually the kinematic viscosity is dynamic viscosity divided by density so therefore nu is momentum diffusivity or kinematic viscosity here but mu is dynamic viscosity okay then cp is specific heat as you know and the k is thermal conductivity so now let's think a bit physically and deeply about Prandtl number right i'm expressing two main physical interpretations of Prandtl. first we told Prandtl is defined as the ratio of momentum diffusivity to thermal diffusivity right it means Prandtl number compares the value of momentum penetration to a fluid layer with the value of heat penetration to the fluid layer. Did you get the idea? Yeah. I'm gonna give some examples to illustrate the concept. Prandtl number for gases, for example, is about 1. It means the penetration rate of the momentum and the heat are almost the same into the fluid okay then this number for fluid metals is much smaller than one meaning the heat diffusion dominates the momentum diffusion into the fluid on the contrary the Prandtl number for fluid oils is much larger than one meaning the momentum diffusion dominates the heat diffusion okay the second physical interpretation of the Prandtl is that it compares the thickness of the velocity boundary layer with the thickness of thermal boundary layer as you know for example here if a fluid of layer starts to move like this a velocity boundary layer is immediately generated okay and if there is temperature difference between the ground and the fluid so the thermal boundary layer is also generated okay here Prandtl number 
compares the thicknesses of these two boundary layers. It means the velocity and thermal boundary layers. For some boundary layers, the velocity boundary layer is thicker than thermal boundary layer. The other way around is also possible for others depending on the fluid, you know. An equation has been defined for the laminar boundary layer concerning this, like this. Delta or delta T almost equals the parental power N. Where the delta is the velocity boundary layer thickness, delta T is the thermal boundary layer thickness, uh, parental is parental itself, <laughs> parental number, I mean, and the N is a positive exponent. If we come back to our former examples here, like here, I would say for gases the delta almost equals the delta T. It means the thicknesses of the velocity boundary layer and the thermal boundary layer are almost equal due to the fact that the parental number of gases is about 1. Then, for fluid metals, a parental is much smaller than 1, right? So, delta should be much smaller than delta T, which means the velocity boundary layer is much thinner than the thermal boundary layer. And finally, as I told, the parental number of the fluid oils is much larger than 1, right? Therefore, the delta should be much larger than delta T. And that means the thickness of the velocity boundary layer is larger than the thickness of the thermal boundary layer. If we come to a summary, I'd say, in convective heat transfer, there are several important dimensionless numbers like Reynolds, Nusselt, Grashof, Rayleigh, and one of them is Prontel, which is introduced by Ludwig. Prontel equals the momentum diffusivity divided by thermal diffusivity. Two main physical interpretations could be made by Prontel. First interpretation. Prontel compares the growth of momentum penetration with the growth of the heat penetration into a fluid layer. If the parental is larger than 1, then the momentum diffusion dominates the thermal diffusion and vice versa. The second interpretation is parental compares the thickness of the velocity boundary layer and the thickness of the thermal boundary layer. Parental number is a temperature dependent fluid property. It means its fluid has its own specific parental number at a specific temperature. If we take delta as the thickness of the velocity boundary layer and delta T as the thermal boundary layer, then we have. So, thanks for your watching. Stay tuned, motivated, and with me as well.